Many natural and manufactured materials occur in a dispersed form, which means that they consist of differently shaped and sized particles. The particle size distribution, that is the number of particles of different sizes, is responsible for important physical and chemical properties, thus the need for sieve analysis. Let's start discussing set of test sieves. Welcome to the program. To put it simply, a test sieve is a tool that uses metal cloth with holes in it to separate some kinds of particles from materials. A test sieve consists of a screen, often wire mesh, held in a round metal frame and come in many different sizes and specs. Manufacturing sieves is done in two procedures. First, woven wire mesh sieves are according to technical requirements of ISO 3310-1. These sieves usually have nominal aperture ranging from 20 micrometers to 3.5 millimeters, with diameters ranging from 100 to 450 millimeters. The other type is perforated plate sieves, which conform to ISO 3310-2 and can have round or square nominal apertures ranging from 1 mm to 125 mm. The diameters of the sieves range from 200 to 450 mm. The available sizes of sieves as followed from ASTM E11 would be classified according to the samples to be tested. The available maximum size for a test sieve is 100 mm or 4 inches and the minimum is taken as 20 micrometers designated as number 635. For coarse aggregates, the maximum aperture size is 75 mm or 3 inches with the minimum as 4.75 mm or the number 4C. The same opening size of 4.75 mm is considered as the biggest opening size when testing fine aggregates and the minimum is taken as 75 micrometers or the number 200 sieve. Noting that the SI units used for designating test sieves remain in millimeters, but you might be wondering why there are some test sieves only named with their aperture size while others are designated with numbers such as number 4 or number 200 in the alternate or the English units. The designation of sieves has also been classified depending on the materials tested. For coarse aggregates, sieve sizes used are designated as the dimension of the aperture such as 3 inches, 1 and a half, or 4 inches. In the contrary, test sieves for fine aggregates have a different way of designation. It is with the fact that after taking a linear inch area, the number of openings are counted. Thus, test sieve designated as number 4 would have 4 openings per square inch, and we conclude that the number 200 sieve would contain 200 small openings in a square inch. If you attempt to count the openings, it is advised that you take the center of the area as the starting point for counting the apertures. Today, Manual sieving is only used where no electricity supply is available, for example, for rapid on-site random checking for oversize or undersize. It is only used for orientation purposes. In contrast, sieve analysis in the laboratory and for quality assurance are carried out with sieve shakers. Modern sieve shakers are characterized by the fact that their mechanical parameters, such as sieving time and amplitude or speed, are carried out with exact reproducibility. There are different methods for carrying out sieve analysis depending on the materials to be measured. The first of which is a throw action sieving. Here, a throwing motion acts on the sample. The vertical throwing motion is overlaid with a slight circular motion, which results in distribution of the sample amount over the whole sieving surface. The particles are accelerated in the vertical direction are thrown upwards. In the air, they carry out free rotations and interact with the openings in the mesh of the sieve when they fall back. Horizontal sieving. In a horizontal sieve shaker, the sieve stacks move in horizontal circles in a plane. 
The horizontal sieve shakers are preferably used for needle-shaped flat, long, or fiber samples as their horizontal orientation means that only a few disoriented particles enter the mesh and the sieve is not black so quickly. The large sieving area enables the sieving of large amounts of sample, for example as encountered in the particle size analysis of construction materials and aggregates. The third method is tapping. A horizontal circular motion overlies a vertical motion which is created by a tapping impulse. These motional processes are characteristic of hand sieving and produce a higher degree of sieving for denser particles, for example in abrasives, than through action sieve shakers. Most sieve analyses are carried out dry, but there are some applications which can only be carried out by wet sieving. This is the case when the sample which has to be analyzed is for example, a suspension which must not be dried, or when the sample is a very fine powder which tends to agglomerate, mostly less than 45 micrometers. In a dry sieving process, this tendency would lead to a clogging of the sieve meshes and this would make a further sieving process impossible. 